Introducing the 1941 movie, The Maltese Falcon, this classic film released in 1941 is a gripping tale of mystery and intrigue. It follows the story of a private detective named Sam Spade, played by Humphrey Bogart, as he becomes entangled in a web of deceit and betrayal while searching for a priceless statuette known as the Maltese Falcon. With its compelling plot and memorable characters, this movie is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. But that's not all. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about the making of this film, so keep watching to learn more. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In 1941, a classic film called The Maltese Falcon hit theaters. Directed by John Huston, this movie is a cornerstone in detective stories. It's set in gritty San Francisco and follows a private detective named Sam Spade, played by Humphrey Bogart. The story starts when a mysterious woman named Bridget O'Shaughnessy asks for Spade's help in finding her missing sister. But things take a dark turn when Spade's partner, Miles Archer, is killed. As Spade digs into the case, he discovers lies and secrets surrounding a valuable statuette called the Maltese Falcon. Along the way, he meets characters like Joel Cairo, Casper Gutman, and Wilmer, each with their own motives. The movie captures the essence of tough detective stories, with Bogart giving a strong performance as Spade. The black and white cinematography and a tight script from Dashiell Hammett's novel create a tense atmosphere. The Maltese Falcon got praise from critics and got nominated for Academy Awards. It's known for influencing detective stories in movies. It's a timeless classic loved by audiences for its characters, setting, and story. In summary, The Maltese Falcon is a timeless classic loved for its characters, setting, and story. It's a must-watch for fans of detective tales. In the movie, there's a lot of smoking by the main actors. Studio head Jack L. Warner didn't like it and told the director to keep it minimal. But Humphrey Bogart and Peter Laura, along with Mary Astor and Sidney Greenstreet, smoked heavily to tease Warner. Warner got mad and threatened to fire the director unless they stopped. But they convinced him it added tension to the story. One famous line from the movie, The Stuff That Dreams Are Made Of, was suggested by Bogart. It's from Shakespeare's The Tempest. Director John Huston decided to direct his own screenplays after seeing his script rewritten for another movie. He teamed up with producer Henry Blank to make it happen. That's the backstory of The Maltese Falcon, a classic film loved by many. Author Tennessee Williams wrote a one-act play titled The Last of My Solid Gold Watches with Sidney Greenstreet in mind and dedicated it to him. Mary Astor had an affair with John Huston during the making of the film. His speech and mannerisms inspired the character Rocky Rococo in the Firesign Theater's radio play The Adventures of Nick Danger, Third Eye. The Maltese Falcon is a 1941 film notable for several reasons. One significant aspect is its association with actress Mary Astor, who became the 17th actress to receive an Academy Award. She won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in The Great Lie at the 14th Academy Awards on February 26, 1942. Astor also appeared in five films alongside Cedric Hardwick, including Invisible Agent, The Cross of Lorraine, Around the World in 80 Days, The Story of Mankind, and Five Weeks in a Balloon. The film features Humphrey Bogart, who portrayed two gangsters inspired by John Dillinger in previous films. He played Duke Minty in The Petrified Forest and Roy Earl in High Sierra. These connections enrich the significance of the Maltese Falcon within the context of Hollywood history, showcasing the collaborative efforts of acclaimed actors and the film industry during that era. In 1941, Warner Brothers approved John Huston's screenplay for The Maltese Falcon, despite giving him a tight six-week shooting schedule and a $300,000 budget. He was warned that going over budget could cost him his job. So, he carefully planned each scene with detailed instructions for himself and his crew. This unique method, not seen in his later works, allowed anyone to read the script and envision how the movie would be made. Unlike Houston, directors like Alfred Hitchcock and Steven Spielberg would use similar methods more often in their careers. Actor Humphrey Bogart, who played the main character, shared the screen with Henry O'Neill in five films before this one. Their movies included The Kennel Murder Case, The World Changes, The Man with Two Faces, Upper World, and Dinky. Alicia Cook Jr., who played Wilmer Cook, lived longer than his fellow actors, passing away on May 18, 1995, at the age of 91. His death marked the end of an era for the cast of the movie. 
starring in several famous movies like Casablanca and four others considered great romances by the American Film Institute, he made a lasting impact on the world of movies. At 34, his face became the inspiration for the drawings of Gomez Adams in The New Yorker, making his unique features unforgettable in pop culture. His strong performance in The Maltese Falcon became the inspiration for the Marvel Comics character, The Kingpin, showing his lasting influence in different forms of entertainment. These achievements solidified his place as a giant in the film industry, leaving an unforgettable mark on audiences worldwide. The Maltese Falcon, released in 1941, features a fictionalized account of the history surrounding the sought-after statuette. The film opens with a scroll detailing this invented backstory. Lead actor Humphrey Bogart, known for his role as Sam Spade, possessed exceptional chess skills. Despite opportunities to turn professional, he opted to remain a non-pro due to lucrative earnings. However, he eventually embraced professional chess, often defeating numerous challengers daily. In a scene, Spade discovers a theater ticket in Cairo's possession, indicating a specific date. This detail, combined with the film's production timeline, allows viewers to pinpoint the exact day within the narrative. In the narrative of the movie, there's a dispute over Bogey's lip injury. One version says it happened during his Navy days when he was hit by a prisoner's shackles while preventing an escape. Another tale suggests a wood splinter at age 12, but the combat story is more thrilling a legend indeed. At the film's start, a montage of San Francisco showcases three landmarks, the Golden Gate and Bay Bridges and Coit Tower. As of 2021, these remain familiar sights to locals and tourists alike. John Huston, though storyboarding every scene, was open to altering plans based on his seasoned cast suggestions. About three quarters of the time, he stuck to his setups, but he embraced ideas from the cast during rehearsal for the rest. The Maltese Falcon, released in 1941, is a highly regarded film in American history. It was listed as the 23rd greatest American movie in 1998 by the American Film Institute, and in 27, it held the 31st position in the updated list. A notable story involves a crucial moment in U.S. history. On April 6, 1933, just before Prohibition ended, the main actor spent the night at the Los Angeles Brewing Co. with fellow star Gene Harlow. They witnessed the end of Prohibition and the return of legal alcohol sales in the United States. The brewery, known for making near beer during Prohibition, quickly switched to producing regular drinks. At midnight, as alcohol became legal again, the actor and Harlow participated in the reopening of the brewery, symbolizing the end of an era. The event included speeches, celebrations, and a significant increase in business for the brewery. Moreover, the actor's influence extended beyond movies. In the early 1990s, his distinct accent was spoofed on the animated series Mega Man, where a character named Cutman may have been inspired by Sidney Greenstreet's role as Gutman in The Maltese Falcon. The movie's impact on American culture and its lasting popularity make it a timeless classic loved by audiences even today.